I'm here in Seattle to meet someone who's built a device in the basement of his garage, indeed is flying it there, that he and others claim is able to do so by defying our current understanding of physics. As unlikely as it sounds, I'm wondering whether what I'm about to witness may just be our first small step towards the stars. This strange device is made of balsa wood and glue and covered in a layer of aluminium foil. So Tim, tell me why is this lifter demonstrating this levitational effect? Well, and there's an interaction that occurs between the corona wire, which runs around the top, and the foil underneath. Yeah. And there's a three to four centimeter air gap in between there, and literally a high voltage electric field occurring. Now, there's been some controversy. Is this an ion wind effect? Is it the high voltage literally taking air molecules with it and creating an upward thrust? Or is it something more? Nobody knows for sure how the lifter flies, but one popular theory is that high voltage current flows between the wires, suspended on the top of the craft, through the air, down to the aluminium foil wrapped around the frame. The current literally drags air molecules down with it, creating a downforce called an iron wind, which provides the thrust needed to lift the airframe skywards. This technology, not just the lifter, but this whole scope of technologies, is almost like looking at the internal combustion engine back in the 1800s. We're trying to take it and say, look, these are real technologies. They have the same flaws that any other technology does, but hopefully they can do things that other technologies can't. So do you think what we're watching here could be the modest beginnings of a whole new industry? Yeah, I think the lifter is literally sort of like the tricycle and it may not end up becoming the technology that builds the starships of tomorrow, but it at least shows us that given the right circumstances, given the right power, it will work.